Although I have spent quite a bit of time in the latest Z06, the lion's share of my Corvette seat time has been spent in the standard Stingray. With 460 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque, and a sub 4 second 0 to 60 time, stuffing more power into this package is, for the most part, all about bragging rights. So if you're a big fan of actually putting all of the Corvette's available power to the ground, there's the Grand Sport. combines the aforementioned powertrain from the standard Stingray with most of the running gear from the Z06. That running gear consists of specially tuned aerodynamic bodywork, an electronic limited slip differential, Brembo brakes with 14.6 inch rotors up front, magnetic ride suspension, and most importantly in my book, a wider track with 285 19s up front and 335 20s out back. And like all Corvettes, the Grand Sport can be outfitted with high-end trappings like heated and ventilated seats, a full-color head-up display, audio by Bose, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration, along with an exclusive Z07 package that includes carbon ceramic brakes and stickier Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Chevrolet says that even without that Z07 package, the Grand Sport can pull up to 1.2 lateral Gs on the skid pad. So let's put that claim to the test on the racetrack. All right, first set of hairpins. Wow. Oh, the side of my face is being pulled to the door panel. There's a lot of grip. There is tons of traction, but as you reach the limit of the tires, it's a bit hard to tell when they're letting go. Regardless, steering overall is still quite good. It's a quick ratio, really responsive, and a little bit of dead spot in the middle there, but hey, nobody's perfect. And how about that power? Just going back to the grip factor. You approach a corner with a little bit too much speed, and you think, oh, there's no way it's gonna pull through this corner. Somehow it does. And now we can open it up a bit down the front straightaway. Yeah, I really don't need more power than that. Another aspect of the Grand Sport that makes it really fun to drive is just how quickly it can change direction. Yeah, the curb weight checks in around 3,200 pounds, but it feels significantly lighter than that. Unlike the Z06, and even the regular Stingray, you can come out of a corner, don't even have to have particularly good throttle control, get on it, and the rear end just sticks. Oh, man. The seats are aggressively bolstered, so they do a great job of holding you in, but the bolsters are not adjustable, so if you are interested in buying a Grand Sport and needed a little motivation to lose some weight, this might be it. And of course the brakes, particularly the carbon ceramics, are absolutely phenomenal. The key takeaway here is that the Grand Sport is impeccably balanced. The harmonious way in which all of the systems work together makes this far and away the best Corvette I've ever driven. You feel like you can do anything in this car. So now that we know it's pretty fantastic, how much does it cost? The answer is a relatively reasonable one, with the coupe starting around $65,000 and the convertible checking in just north of $70,000. On either model, swapping the 7-speed manual for the optional 8-speed automatic will tack an additional $1,500 or so to the bottom line, while the Z07 package and its unobtainium composite brakes will set you back another $8,000. The Z07 notwithstanding, the Corvette Grand Sport offers a ton of bang for the buck. With gobs of power and the handling grip to back it up, this is an American sports car done right.